In this video, we're going to write a simple Gitra Google search plugin that allows you to quickly look up API functions via Google. And the way I'm going to implement this is as follows. Imagine you have a call to this WinRP function here. And then what we can do is we can get the instruction at the current address. This is a call. And when we then call the get references from on this, we get an array of symbol references. And we then can search this array for its external reference, which simply will state true or false if the reference is an external reference. For example, this reference here is the indirection. So GitRev will say that this will first indirect to an address pointer, to an actual pointer to external function in here. But then the second part in our array will then already be the reference to the external function. So GitRev will already resolve the redirection for us here. And if we call this external reference on this, it will return true. And then we can use the getLabel function to get the function label, as you can see here. And then we can also use the get library name. And what I will do is I will use the library name followed by the function name and then I will use the Google search with the I'm feeling lucky button. So if you go to Google, then you have the opportunity to hit the I'm feeling lucky. So for example, if I do this Google search, then I will go to this search page. However, if I hit the I'm feeling lucky button, I'm going to be taken directly to the first search hit. And you can have the same effect using this simple link here. So I will call from our Git rest script Firefox with a link where I replace the search term here with the library name and the function name. So let's get started. And for the code of the plugin, I will reuse again the pipe decoder mainly because we used a process in here and we also use a process in the other thing. So I'm just going to copy not all code, but only some code. And then I'm also going to copy the code that actually starts a process. And our command will be Firefox. So Firefox needs to be in the path and we don't need any of the rest. And here we have our search. So our search be in this string here. We're actually going to use HTTPS. Actually use the lib name. And then we're going to use the percent twenty for a space. And then have the label here. Okay, so now we can copy all this. And first we get the instruction. And then we cycle through all the references and then only if our reference is an external reference, then we will execute this. Otherwise we will not execute anything. And in case that the current address is not in a function, uh, in a instruction, we will just quit the plugin. And I may later actually extend the script to also be able to, for example, look up data labels or strings via Google. But for now, this is the whole plugin. So I haven't defined the lib name and the label yet. So let's give, give this a key point binding. Alt shift and let's say G. And then we activate this here. Every time you encounter a function, for example, here, hit Alt Shift G, and then have automatically pop up in this case, the Microsoft Docs for this specific function. 